Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Today we're going to be working with these two pages from the My Secret Garden Kit. Um, and uh, it's the fences that I'm going to be working on. Uh, these are little bitty journaling cards. And these elements here have so much versatility. So I thought I'd give you a few ideas. And I'm sure everybody can just do all kinds of stuff with them, okay? <laughs> and even if you don't have the kit, this is still a lot of things in this video that you'll be able to do just as a craft along because, you know, everybody's got paper, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the, the fences. Don't fence me in, right? All right, hold on a sec. I'll be right back with everything cut out and ready to go. Okay, I'm back, and um, like I said, we're working on the fences pages. There's two of them, um, and also I've got this freebie for you guys. It'll be on my website, free and free, free, you know. So you've got a couple little birds. You've got the labels that are actually on this, and I thought, you know, to put them on there again is great because that gives you some dimension. So, there's that. Or you can um, make both of them say the same thing. It's, anyways, uh, we've got these little branches with flowers and such. A couple of butterflies. We've got some daisies and we've got these ones here with the pink middles. I thought, you know, hey. So, I didn't use these in the video that I'm about to do in the craft along I did use these and I used a butterfly or two and the birds and these and stuff so anyways let's just get started shall we <clears throat> this is uh, one of the pages now you can you can make this any which way you want today we're gonna make a journal card out of it this one for the first one I made um, I just folded the page down on itself half, you know, halfway and made uh, a pocket, a pocket that you can stick in a pocket, right? So I put a journal card in there. All of our really pretty freebies, uh, our birds are on the fence. This fence is in the, um, in the kit, the digital kit. And then you've got, uh, you know, a cute little pocket in there for a little tiny journal card. On the same note, you, you know, same thing on the other side. And, of course, I had to put some lace on it because, yeah, that's how I roll. So, that one's really simple and easy. You can do anything you want with these. It's just, I'm giving you a couple of ideas, okay? Uh, there's so many different options. Now, this, of course, I could have folded this in half but I was being um, me and so I folded it um, to where one side's a little bit shorter than the other and the way I'm going to use it you won't be able to tell anyway so I put my big fences on here this is the other fence page um, I put a some of the fussy cuts from the kit on here to decorate with I did these at half size uh, the other things are at full size. This is at half size. And, of course, I put lace underneath the fence because that's, you know, again, how I roll. Put uh, put it down as a pocket. Really cute, right? And it's going to go over the top of a... Um, it's going to go over the top of a page, right? Like, like so in the journal, and it'll sit on the top. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, just, you know, journal card in here, just really pretty, cute, right? Um, but I also wanted a little bit of extra, so I put um, a little sewn-in signature in and have it as a notebook, and I just put some of the fabric tape up here to give it that little bit of extra strength so it's more durable, right? So I just cut up some of the... Um, journal pages, the line pages from the uh, My Secret Garden kit and put in there, 
okay? So that's pretty simple and easy. Just like I said, a couple of ideas on things that you can do with these, yeah? Okay, so let's put those to the side and pull in our what we're going to do today. I've got some stuff prepped, of course, because, you know, that's how I roll, too. So I've got my big fences cut out. You know, I did that with my Cricut. That's the way that goes. These are the, um, this is the page for the big fence, and it's cut out. On this one, I did round the top because I'm going to have them as a journal card and a pocket journal card. Does that make sense? So my fence is going to go here. I don't think I'll have time to do both of them, but I'm going to give you the idea of what I'm going to do, right? So I'll probably do just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just making lots of ephemera for the journal, and I'm getting some progress going on with the um, what I'm doing with the journal, too. So I'll show you that soon, very soon. So these are my bits and pieces that I'm going to have. Um... For this journal card it's gonna have you know all my stuff on here all these little things here to decorate the fence with because you know things kind of cling and grow on the fence don't they so that's gonna be the front of our and it'll be a pocket and then we'll have that whole back for journaling okay then this one I've got a bunch of daisies here where's the rest of the stuff huh so I've got a fence I've got two of these of course, I'm not going to do both of them on camera because, well, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. Okay, so I will put the fence down here. And I've got my little pieces over here to decorate that with. Butterflies and different, you know, branches and birds and such. Because you can make anything you want out of these. And, uh, you know, a few freebies helps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everything's been pre-inked except for I didn't ink the daisies because yeah, white, you know, I, um, yeah. So let's just get on with this and see what we can do. Yeah. Okay. I guess the first thing, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, is simply to put the fence down because. That's going to be our pocket. Um, so, as I said, I pre-inked everything so that, except the daisies, so that it would be just quick and easy. You know, I find that once you get your prep work done, um, these little projects come together so quick. So, yeah. And it's just a stacked image because this is the fence that's on the on the base. Now, if you don't get my kit, that's fine. But for those of you who have bought my kit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm I'm greatly appreciative of that. Uh, your support for my my small business. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a second to dry. Um, and we'll decide what we're going to do with... I still want the birds on each side, right? Um, on a journal card, you don't want to get too lumpy-bumpy because, you know, then it gets all... Uh, yeah, complicated. But we can put this bird here-ish. We'll have to watch out for those tail feathers. Now you can, of course, just chop those off and the bird's a little chickadee and it's fine. You know, but I'm going to keep them for now. So... I'm just going to put on this, I have to kind of gauge where the glue needs to be. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just put some glue around the bottom and see what I can do. I need a scrap piece of paper. You know, we always have scraps laying around somewhere. But I have recently cleared mine out, so <laughs> that's a problem, huh? When you have a clear out, things happen. And you need something and you can't find it and you just, you know. Anyways, I don't want um, the glue to get underneath there. I want it to stay on here and be like so. Yeah. 
yeah like so <laughs> like so is what I'm looking for and if you put something underneath it just <clears throat> you know for a moment it keeps your glue from getting I don't want to glue my pocket down is what I'm trying to say so once again we're gonna do the same deal on this side um, de -dum, de -dum. yep like so put my bird on there so I hope you guys are having fun with this I'm having loads of fun with this kit um, and I'm gonna be mixing matching some soon I've got another garden kit in my Etsy shop that I'm gonna be integrating into this uh, project which that's gonna be fun so okay I think I need a little bit of glue right just on the edge there just gonna put it right there and do that number <laughs> okay now making sure I'm not sticking this to there <laughs> okay now we're good okay so next is the daisies I like to have them kind of poking out um, and you know let me see if I can get this one to poke up like so and then I'll have to chop that one off I'm sure but you know how things get in there and kind of grow this way and that way yeah Okay, let me chop that guy off, and then I'll just glue this one up. You know, I've got an extra little daisy there that I could stick down, you know, somewhere. Anyways, I'll put it to the side for now. So, I think I'm going to stick that down because as a journal card, it may be going in a pocket. You don't want it, you know, you don't want it moving around all over the place, right? Okay. I'm just being strategic because this is just going to go down on the edge and be still like so. Okay, let's get another one going over here. Yep, come along. <laughs> okay, I just want like so. I may trim this one off this time. Like I said, you guys can do this however you wish. <laughs> it's it's all fun. The old saying is, it's all fun till you put an eye out. It's, it's all fun. We're not going to put any eyes out. Okay. <laughs> it's a thing, right? Okay, I'm going to turn it around this way so I don't stick my head in the camera. Okay, and get some glue under there so that that's glued down. And then I'm just going to glue along the edges of these and stick them down. Just tacking it down there. Okay, hopefully, I don't want to mess with it too much till it dries. So, okay, now. What am I going to do? I'm going to put a branch or two. Um, oh, I packed that down, didn't I? <laughs> Funny. Okay. I want to put it to where it's kind of curling up here. Um, yeah. So, let's see if the other one will do that. Now, on a journal card, it's a little different because, you know, you don't want to go over too much. Because, yeah. So, yeah, I can do that. It'll work. Okay. Let's do this. And I just have to hold it on the edge. Uh, there you go. I think this is fun. It's super simple and easy, too. And it just allows you to be very creative. And have a nice crafty time, right? Okay, now 
we're gonna do that. I would think we're gonna do that. Slide that under there, please. Wow, come on. It's a little bit easier before you put the glue on, right? <laughs> okay, get over there, you silly. And you too. Okay, now. Right. Yeah, I don't want any of these little wispy things being loose on there because they could get in and out of a pocket can, you know, create a situation. <laughs> it can uh, wear and tear or whatever. You just want them down good. So... Um, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm working on some new stuff for my Etsy shop. And I'm revamping some things that are in my Etsy shop. So, lots of new stuff happening there real soon. Come on, slide on in there. Come on. Yep, lots of new stuff happening there very soon. I will tell you all about it when I get it done because, you know, <clears throat> uh, it takes me a while to get everything done. It just is what it is. Okay, let me make sure I've still got my space in here for my pocket. Now, isn't that cute? Of course, you can, you know, lace it up or whatever i'm not gonna lace it up because it's a journal card but you could if you so wanted to let me see i've got to get this little journal card in there now yeah okay now i've got a little journal card sometimes you have to work with things in a journal card okay yeah Little journal card in a journal card. <laughs> That's cute, right? Okay, so you don't have to buy my kit to do this craft along. You can use any piece of paper or cardstock and do these same things with the freebies. Make your make your own little fence and and or just a plain pocket. Just a plain pocket down there. It'll be fine, right? Okay, so I've got that one done. I am going to work on the big fence. Mm. Let me see if I've got any. Okay, hold on a second. And I'm back. So, um, to do this one, I wanted some parchment paper underneath because, yeah, glue's going to get underneath if I don't do something like that. So, I thought maybe I would put the lamb there. Um, did I'm did I'm. Let's see. I've got these little half size flowers that I'm going to put on. I'm going to put my fairy house there. Yeah. And I think I'm going to have the bird on the fairy house, right? The robin. And then I'm going to have some of these flowers. Just kind of, well, stand your ground, man. I wasn't making any kind of reference other than I don't want the bird to be right where it is. So, okay. And then I want this to be here. I think I want the lamb to be on top, of course. Okay. Then, um, where was I going to put these? <laughs> it's been a while since I decided what I was going to do with this and now I'm trying to decide again what I'm going to do with it because I don't know oh maybe I'm going to do it this way so I have that coming up there and then I have this poking in here but I want the lamb in front so I'm going to put the lamb to the side get him out of the way for a moment 
and then I'll put that in there. I just want a lot of roses all over this fence because, you know, that's a thing. Roses go everywhere, don't they? Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I think. Okay, I want the roses everywhere and they're going underneath, so I'm going to put them on first. Okay. Um, okay, yep. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit tedious to do all these little die cuts, but, you know, they're so pretty when you get them done. And it does take a minute to put your glue on there because you want it everywhere. Um, but they are so fun. And I'm putting some of these up into my Etsy shop. Uh, well, I'm putting the regular size ones in my Etsy shop, and I'll probably throw in some of these little ones, just because, you know, I always put freebies in everything. That's just, well, another way I roll, right? <laughs> it's just a thing. It's what I do. Okay. So, <clears throat> alright, put that there. Yeah, I'm with the parchment paper underneath. I don't have to worry about glue sticking anything to where I don't want it to be stuck to. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. <clears throat> I hope. <laughs> uh, and then I'll have to remember where I'm putting that fairy house, you know. I was watching a crafter the other day, uh, and it was so funny, and I thought, oh my word, I'll probably do that same thing one of these days. She was doing a, showing through a, a video of, she was showing um, a project that she had finished, and she had a, a card that she was going to show the pockets in, <laughs> and um, she laid her project on top of uh, the the journal card. <laughs> and I was sitting there just laughing because she was looking for it like crazy. And I thought, oh my word, I'm going to be the same way. Um, I know I'll do that now that I've laughed at her. <laughs> but it was funny. I mean, I saw, I knew where exactly where it was. She didn't, but I didn't. <laughs> it, you know, we do things and we just... Um, laugh at ourselves. I laugh at myself anyways. And it is what it is. Okay. There's that one. Cute, cute. So, yeah, we have to keep a sense of humor. Because if we don't, we're just up the creek. And it's a short one. Okay. So, back to my Etsy shop. <laughs> uh, the My Secret Garden pack is in there. And these are going to be... Um, the cutouts are going to be in there. Uh, the regular size ones. All the ones for, like, the the three pages of cutouts. There's three pages in that kit. It's really big. Three pages of cutouts. Um, and I'm having them, I'm doing them on my Cricut. So, they look really, really awesome. Or I think they do. Uh, so hopefully other people will think they do. Now, am I going to put this one over here? I had it out for a reason. I think I'll just stick it there. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to put them in there, and you can buy them. Now, the first five um, packages are going to be at an, uh, an introductory price, which means they're going to be cheaper than the usual because when I get them done up and, you know, get them going, uh, I'll have to charge enough to cover all my expenses and make a little money. Because, you know, it's what you're in business for, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways. Now I'm going to put him there. And that there. And the bird there. Cute. Very cute. All right. <clears throat> 
So, yep, they'll all be cut out of lightweight cardstock, which is, it's just what I use. I think it works best to use that. Um, so if you're not used to working with lightweight cardstock, it might be a little bit bulky, but it's more durable. Okay. There you go. Little guy right there. He's in the roses. Okay. I'll move the bird aside and put my fairy house on there. Or mushroom fairy house. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. It's a little it's a little fairy house to me. Get all those little tidbits on the side, right? Uh yeah, these are lots of fun to create with. Even if you don't get the um, Secret Garden paper pack, digital, you can uh, still buy the the cut aparts and, you know, have fun with them. Because, <laughs> you know, they'll go in any uh, garden or botanical uh, journal or card or whatever you want to put them in on. All right. Okay. Make sure everything's pushed down. I did finally clean my my brayer, so that's good. <laughs> uh, a clean roll, right? Okay. Now, hopefully I'm staying in shot. I haven't really even looked up. I'm just kind of tending to this business here. Getting all these things glued on. Okay. Here you go, Robin. Uh, that way. Yep. Now, see, making it like this gives you extra strength on your pocket. <laughs> it's just, now the fence would be fine. It would be fine on its own, right? Um, but if you've got all these things layered on top of it, you still see it's a fence. Yeah. And it's got a lot of strength now. It's just... You know, I'm going to give it just a second to dry before I put it on the, um, because it's still got some, mm, yep. So, give it a minute, and then we'll put it on here. I left the bottom of the journal card squared, you know, but I did round the corners at the top. I left it squared because, you know, the fence is squared-ish. So, yeah, isn't that pretty, though? And it's a pocket. A pocket journal card. Awesome. I have to work that into the title of this, yeah? Just, uh, let's see. We're going to go this way. <laughs> okay. Don't get too much. Go out there too far. Because, you know, you need room in your pocket. Uh, yep, just doing the bottoms of the fences. <laughs> Okay, now the side, and we will stick it on there. As long as I don't go too crazy with the, the glue. Okay, now, here we go. Right down there. Yep, sort of straight-ish on the card. Now, yep. Now, I don't know if you guys notice it or not, but usually when I'm putting down a flat pocket, and that's what this is. In essence, this is a flat pocket. And if you don't have the kit, just use a flat pocket. I'm always sort of pushing in at the top just a little bit. It gives you a little bit more room in your pocket. I like gusseted pockets, but you don't always get to do a gusseted pocket, right? You have, you know. Now, let's see if I can put one of these that I have made up in here come on you it should slide right in there look at that is that perfect or what <laughs> uh, okay that is awesome I'm not gonna leave it in at the moment because you know the glue's still a little damp so we'll give it a minute and then this is gonna go in there that's awesome okay where'd I put the other one Ooh. now see I laughed at her no, okay, I found it. Uh, okay. Yep, that's what I get for laughing at somebody. But it was funny. <laughs> okay. 
Now we've got that one. Come along. This side wants to be a little stubborn. It's not glued down. It's just I don't want to tug on it very much because of the newness of it. Right? Now it's good. Okay. That is what we made today. Now, that is not all you can make with these because, like I said, you've got... There are so many options to make. This is just a couple of ideas, right? To make a little notebook that goes over the top. And you've got a pocket here and a pocket there made out of the fence and the fussy cuts. Um, a pocket just folded down. Now, you can do this vice versa. I mean, you, you know, fold this up and... It works with both of them. I love the fence idea, especially for a garden journal, right? So, anyways, the garden fence, that kind of thing. So you just have a pocket in there, and you have it decorated on both sides. You've got your little journal cards in that go just sit right in there perfectly. Um, so, yep, there you go. There's that and that and that and that. And you can go get your freebies, and you've got these labels, so you can make... A journal card for a garden journal or a, anything springy really um, whether you buy the kit or not but if you do buy the kit thank you I'm I'm so grateful for uh, things moving along and and becoming a I don't know it's kind of like Pinocchio becoming a real boy I <laughs> okay you know I'm silly now um, it happens that's what I do okay so there you go have fun with it it's just adorable, super cute, super easy, and super fun. Okay? You guys take care. Thanks for watching. TTFN.